Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show how to create a cartogram using a new function in QGIS 3.24. Here you can see the change log. There are a lot of nice new features for cartography. We're going to explore the scale function, which is a new expression function that allows to resize or scale a geometry. So we use it in combination with the geometry generator. We'll apply this to data from the Dutch Health Authority on the vaccination grade in Dutch municipalities. So we download this open data CSV file to further process in QGIS. The link will be provided in the description of this video. Let's import the CSV file in QGIS 3.24. Go to the data source manager, choose the limited text, add the CSV file. And here you see that it uses the semicolon as a delimiter, so we change it and check tab. The preview looks good, and you also can see here that we can, in this version of QGIS, declare the data type of the columns. So here we will not have geometry, and I'm going to change the data type of the vaccination coverage to decimal. And then I click add. And the layer is added now. Because we have data for each municipality in the Netherlands, we need a map with the municipalities. I'm going to install the PDOC services plugin, which gives access to open data from the Netherlands. If I click this button, I can search for gemeente, which means municipality. It's a WFS, so I can use it as a vector layer. But as you can see, it also covers the water bodies which are included in the municipalities. But the map looks much nicer if we will exclude the water. Let's first have a look at the attribute table. And we see here that it has a column with municipality codes, and we see similar codes here, region code, in the CSV file. So we'll use that later to join both layers. But first, let's get rid of the water bodies in the municipalities. One way to do that is to Download the Wijken layer, which is all the uh, neighborhoods, quarters. Let's open the attribute table. And there we can see a field water, yes, no. So I can here do a selection on water equals. And then I use ne, which means no in Dutch. Select those features. And that looks what I need. So I'm going to export the selected features. Create a new geo package for the quarters. Change the name to quarters without water. Click OK. And there it is. I'm going to dissolve this layer. So I only have the boundaries and not each uh, quarter. Save it to a geo package. And I call it Nederland, which means the Netherlands. So basically it's a country map that we're creating. And I can use that to clip the municipalities for only the land. So that's the next step. Here we have the municipalities. So I'm going to do vector geoprocessing clip. As an input, I choose gemeente, the municipalities, as an overlay, the country, Nederland. And then I save the geo package. And I call the layer gemeenten clip. And now we see our municipalities on the land area. So I'm going to join the CSV file with the municipality layer, the clipped one. And as we saw before, it has the identification field, which is common within the CSV the region code. Let's verify that. Here, yeah, region code has the same number. Note that the CSV file has the data for different age groups. In the way that we join it, it will only join uh, the data from the age group 12 plus.
layer name is vaccinations and here it is And I just need to remove some uh, values that are out of range. So there's 9999. It's one feature. And there's also features with no. And I add that to the selection. And that's another feature. So there are two selections now. Let's remove those. Save the attribute table. And that's our vaccinations layer. Now before we start scaling, it's good to duplicate this layer. So we also have the original surface areas of these municipalities. So I also rename it. Call it original. And uh, let's start styling the vaccinations layer. So go to the layer styling panel. And there I go to Simple Fill and I change this to Geometry Generator. Now we get a field where we can fill in the code, but we can also go to the editor, which makes it easier to search for functions. And we're going to explore the Scale function, which basically needs an X scale factor and a Y scale factor. And those factors we get them from the attribute table. And we use the vaccination degree for that, for both X and Y. And let's see how it looks. And that looks like a mess. It scales them all, but on top of each other and to a much larger size. So that's not exactly what we want. So let's uh, tweak this. First of all, we want each feature independently scaled. So we need to use an array. And we use the array for each function. So each polygon will be evaluated. Each element of the array will be evaluated separately. And then we want to generate the series of these polygons for the array. And we start from zero and we use the function numGeometries, which is the number of geometries in the layer. So the number of polygons. And that needs to be done for the geometry itself, for the whole layer. dollar geometry and some brackets comma let's uh, write it in a clearer way so we can easily read it and after doing that independently it needs to gather them again into one layer so collect geometries array for each generate the series with the number of geometries, scale each one. And remember that those polygons were far too big because they have uh, percentages and we need to divide them uh, through 100 to get them in a uh, value scale between zero and one. Close it with some brackets and then we don't see an error in the preview, which means that uh, this expression is correct. Let's see what happens. There it is, let's zoom in. And here we see that it scaled the polygons, but the background the original has the same color, so let's switch it off. And here it looks like nice puzzle pieces or the skin of a giraffe. And let's uh, have the background with an outline so we can see the original surface areas. And let's categorize these uh, classes 
let's use a, a graduated style for the percentages so we can also see in color how the percentages of uh, vaccinations uh, vary in the area. Let's choose this one. And then you can play with uh, the class boundaries until you have a result uh, that uh, gives the message that you want to uh, give. So we can use an equal interval or natural breaks. Pretty breaks, change the number of classes. And let's add some uh, labels to see the values. That's just for checking if it makes sense. So here we have the labels, and that should be the percentage of scaling that we applied. And there we see that uh, ERC is only 31% of the original area. Let's switch off the labels again. And uh, improve the styling a bit. So uh, let's do an inverted polygon for the country. So we can choose a nice background color. Let's do a light blue. And we can change the line of the original polygons to uh, also a blue. Let's make it a darker blue. Let's do some final tweaks in the colors, which I'm going to uh, also manually change. And then you can also type the corresponding legend, so less than 50 and larger than 85. And that's a nice cartogram of the vaccination degree in the Netherlands. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like these videos, please subscribe to get updates and looking forward to see you again.